Good morning. I'm here at the Dunraven Trailhead, also known as the North Fork Trailhead, here just outside Glenhaven, Colorado. And today, I'm going to go for South Signal Mountain. It's a pretty long hike. I think I'm looking at over five and a half miles and well over a 3,000 foot gain. Official start time, 7.40 a.m. I can barely get through there. All right, let's take it up this road to the official Bulwark Ridge Trailhead. And after 10 pretty fun minutes there coming up that road, I'm at the top of it. And what's this map say? A long way. I've got a long way to go. Freaking mountain's not even on the map. Up, up, and away. And it ain't gonna stop till we get to the top. This trail does not mess around. It starts going straight up. I've just knocked out 600 vertical feet in about 30 minutes. Whoa. Whew. My goodness. This thing should flatten out a little bit here. Yeah, that first part is atrocious. Yeah, it looks like we're just now getting the sun. Time to bonnet up. Now that I got my bonnet on, I'm ready to hike. I think it was right through here where I really started to get my ass whipped by the mosquitoes earlier this year on the 4th of July. I don't think I made it much further before I decided to bail. I just couldn't outrun them. And if you want to see that video, it is a Patreon exclusive. Yeah, I couldn't post that one publicly. I got a little angry in it. And shout out to all the Patreons. I appreciate you. Ain't no bugs today though. It's too cold for those little bastards. And in just over 50 minutes, I'm up here to the trail split. I'm gonna stay to the left. Four miles up to Signal Mountain. This is some fast hiking through here, but here in like two minutes, it's gonna start ramping up. I'm really not even up on the Bulwark Ridge yet. This is a rather nasty trail through here. Super rocky. This is one of the rare times when you get to go downhill. Whew. Yeah, that last quarter mile or so was pretty brutal. Real steep and real rocky. And this is all damage from the Cameron Peak Fire in 2020. I'm up here at just under 9,600 feet, which means I've come up over 1,700, and I've been hiking for an hour and 35 minutes. I need to enjoy this little flat part right here, because this thing is getting ready to launch straight up to like 10,800. 
yeah this next 1.3 miles or so is going to be pretty steep lots of fire damage through here which looks like it caused the ground to flood out a little bit it's all eaten away right here yeah it looks like the trail is completely gone right through here This thing just turned into a pile of rocks. I've been hiking for two hours and five minutes and I have come out about 3.8 miles, which means I have about 1.7 left. And I'm up here at an elevation of about 10,150. So I'm looking pretty good. I'm gonna take a quick five minute break and then I think I can knock out the rest of this in under an hour and a half. Whew. This is a heck of a hike. And this trail up here is a lot rockier than I remember it being. This is brutal. And in two hours and 40 minutes, I'm up here on top of the high point at 10,800. The summit of South Signal Mountain is a little over 11.2, so I don't have much left at all. Hitting this tiny little unburned section, but I think it's gonna be pretty short-lived. Yep, I think the end of it's right here. And I should be able to see the signal mountains here in like two seconds yep so much for the unburned trees yeah it's like total devastation up here I'm back in another unburned section but let's keep going I got the eye of the hiking tiger right now we're gonna get this summit And here comes South Signal Mountain, right there. I'm coming down the backside of that high point at 10,800, which is a nice little break for my legs. And they can get rested up here for this final push up to the summit. I've been hiking for exactly three hours and I'm floating along at just over 10,800, looking at about four tenths of a mile up to the summit with another 400 foot gain. I'm just under 11,000, so I've got less than 300 up to the summit. Let's go. Right there in front of me is Signal Mountain, and I've got three videos of that summit so I'm not too worried about it today I want to focus more on South Signal Mountain yeah last time I did Signal Mountain from Pingree Park was with Chris a little over two years ago and that's the hike that I totaled my cross trek on on the way home I backed into a tree at like 40 miles per hour totaled it right here at 10,960 or so is where I'm gonna split off and then just start bushwhacking to the top of South Signal Mountain almost there this last part sucks
one of these high points is going to be the true summit and I'm not really sure which one it is however I think it's this one All right, guys, it's just now 11.10. I started at 7.40, so that has taken me three hours and 30 minutes to get up here to the summit of South Signal Mountain, which is pretty good. That's a solid 5.5 miles with right around a 3,400 foot elevation gain. And I think this is going to be my spot. I was just standing up there two seconds ago. But I dropped it down. And this seems to be a little more out of the wind right here. And this is the view from my spot. I'm pretty much out of the wind right here. It's not too bad. It's getting pretty dang cold up here. I'm having to bust out the heated gloves. Let's fire them up. I've just come down from the summit. I was sitting up there. But I think I'm going to walk around the top part. I'm going to kind of look around these rocks and stuff and see if by chance that Michael Power is up here somewhere. I don't think so, but it's possible no one else has looked yet. So, let's go walk around. See what's up over here. Okay, this'll work. This'll actually work out nicely. I believe this is gonna be the border for Rocky Mountain National Park. Yep. I am now technically in Rocky Mountain National Park. I crossed over the border back there. This is it. This is pretty much the end of the summit. It starts sloping off a little more to the west. It's pretty awesome over here. Yep, nothing over here. This is the far side of the summit and it just starts going down all right guys it's just now about 12 o'clock and I've been sitting up here on the summit for about 50 minutes or so but it's time to go it's time to head on back. And I am now leaving Rocky Mountain National Park. That's looking up to the north in the direction of Pingree Park. 
and that's actually the easier way to do Signal Mountain. I just need to pick up my poles that I left down here, and then I just need to take it on back. I'm thinking this is going to take about two hours and 45 minutes to come down. Right there in front of me is that high point at about 10,800. And I need to go back up and over it. And that's pretty much the last uphill that I'm going to have to do. Once I make it back to the top of that, the rest is all downhill. It's at this moment when I feel like no matter where I hike on this mountain, I'm always going uphill. All right. And I think I've made it up and over. And now I'm just gonna drop it down about 3,000 vertical feet. I'm gonna take it from about 10.8 down to 7.8. One thing to take note of on this hike is that there's no water on it anywhere. No streams, no ponds, not even any puddles. So if you try this in the heat of the summer, bring tons of water. Not only is this hike a boot buster, but it's also a potential knee popper and toe jammer. I mean, this trail is just absolutely gross in certain spots. Just a pile of loose rocks. This is one of the most disgusting trails I've hiked on all year. It's requiring 100% concentration so I don't step wrong and obliterate my knee. But yeah, I've done bushwhacks that aren't this bad. I've been coming down this trail pretty quickly and it looks like the rocks have finally ended, at least temporarily. And 10 seconds later, I'm back in the rocks. It's just now 1.30, so I've been coming down for about an hour and a half. And just guesstimating, I think I'm looking at another 1.5 miles back down to the trail split. And then from there, another 1.5 back down to the trailhead. And there was the knee popper just coming down on these freaking loose rocks. God, I'm so tired of these things. I'm glad I made it to the summit today because I'm not coming back here probably forever. Uh, thank God we're back down to this trail split. We got a mile and a half down to the trailhead. Let's get this over with. You remember in the movie Misery when Kathy Bates smashed James Kahn's foot, broke his ankle? That's what my knee feels like right now. Totally broken. All right. I think I'm on the very last big decline here. And then I should pick up that road, take that down for about a half mile, and then I'm done back down to the Bulwark Ridge Trailhead. And this has taken me two hours and 35 minutes from the summit. All right, and I am back. Dunraven Trailhead. It's just now 2.45. So just as I had predicted, that took two hours and 45 minutes to come down. It took three hours and 30 minutes to get up there this morning. We're looking at 11 miles total with right around a 3,400 foot elevation gain. I think I said this last time I did the Bulwark Ridge when I got back to the car and I was saying I was super happy to be sitting down, which I am. That trail is brutal. Like I said, I do not recommend it, but I hope you enjoyed that hike. And until the next one, y'all, Peace.